So what is the likely future of Blazor? Of course, no one can predict the future, but I thought I'd create a video on my reasons for my positive sentiments towards Blazor's future. One of my core reasons is quite obvious. When choosing Blazor, you're choosing the entire .NET universe, which is huge. Blazor is not only an excellent technology that facilitates an excellent UX user experience for your web apps, it also seamlessly extends into an entire universe of ever-expanding and evolving capabilities provided by .NET. So in that sense, you are not only choosing Microsoft's SPA framework, you are also future-proofing your apps. You can easily extend your Blazor apps, for example, to be highly scalable, where you can leverage cutting-edge tools like .NET Aspire. You will also be able to leverage .NET AI libraries that will allow you to seamlessly include AI features into your applications. So when you choose Blazor, there is a much broader picture to consider. It's not just about Blazor. You are entering the .NET universe. In my many years now of working with Microsoft tools and programming languages, what really stands out to me is how easy it is to, for example, using .NET frameworks, implement incredibly complex, powerful functionality with just a few lines of code. Microsoft has always been great at abstracting away the complexities, for example, security functionality or database interaction functionality, or in the case of Blazor, real-time web page updates in response to user interactions with the relevant web page. Even though, under the hood, as it were, this powerful functionality is pretty complex, the developer is able to integrate it into .NET apps with just a few lines of code. When you are learning Blazor, you're also highly likely to learn about concepts associated with the entire .NET ecosystem, like dependency injection, link, identity, entity framework, core, Razor, and much, much more. As of late, I've noticed quite a few videos on YouTube echoing rather negative sentiments regarding Blazor and its future, which is partly what inspired me to create this video. I've created many videos espousing the virtues of Blazor, but this video is primarily focused on why I think Blazor is likely to have a bright future and should not be dismissed because of negative comments on social media or videos that echo a negative sentiment towards Blazor. I've worked with Blazor as well as Angular, React, and Next.js, so I know firsthand when to choose Blazor and why, in many cases, Blazor is the best technology for providing your users with high-performing, interactive front-end experiences. As I've already alluded to, one of the biggest benefits for me is its seamless integration with the broader .NET ecosystem, where you can leverage the security features provided by Identity, the ORM functionality provided by Entity Framework Core for database interaction, and the Razor technology, which enables you to combine declarative layout code through HTML with behavioral functionality that is implemented through C-sharp, and you can provide both the HTML and the C-sharp code within one Razor file. Those are just a few examples. Agentic AI is going to be huge, and through Azure and .NET, you can easily integrate incredibly sophisticated AI features into your applications. So through Blazor and its seamless integration with .NET, you are future-proofing your applications that you can extend to include cutting edge features, for example, AI features into your applications. Through Blazor and .NET, you're combining highly performant interactive functionality on the front end, ensuring a great UX user experience with the ever evolving and improving libraries provided through .NET. So if you look at Blazor in this broad context, you can see that Blazor fits in perfectly where the immense power provided in .NET can be combined with the powerful user experience benefits facilitated by Blazor. There's also the question of jobs for those wanting to enter the market as a developer. So you might say, hey, with React and Angular, there are way more jobs available. There are hardly any Blazor jobs available. So that may seem true if you, for example, performed a job search for just the keyword Blazor within your favorite recruitment website. In response to this, I would argue that it is unlikely that a person would just learn Blazor in isolation. You're going to be more likely to learn C Sharp and .NET as a whole, and then learn an appropriate .NET framework like Blazor or .NET MAUI, depending on the type of app you are creating. When you learn Blazor, you will learn a lot of .NET concepts and C Sharp concepts by default. 
but I would encourage you to learn .NET and C Sharp as a whole before learning Blazor or any one particular .NET framework. This will make you far more marketable as a developer. You will then be able to transfer your C Sharp and .NET skills between .NET frameworks. Once you understand the fundamentals of .NET and C Sharp, you'll be able to adapt your skills to any of the .NET frameworks with relative ease. You might say, but I don't see any companies using Blazor. A lot of companies out there are slow to adopt new technologies, so we'll likely have a lot of web apps developed using the older web frameworks like ASP.NET Core MVC framework or even the older web forms framework. Blazor is way more modern and flexible than those frameworks. So I have no doubt that companies will be moving to Blazor, but will no doubt in many cases be very slow to adopt Blazor. Companies seem to only upgrade to newer technologies when they absolutely need to. Due to the perceived costs of the upgrade, perhaps due to lack of political will, and of course the old saying, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But this has no bearing on the quality of Blazor. Blazor is great. It's more to do with the general nature of how companies are slow to adopt new technologies. In some cases, it may be justifiable to stick with the older technologies, but for new web applications, Blazor is definitely the best choice. It offers the most flexible and modern features of all the .NET web frameworks. So in time, I think that more companies will appreciate the qualities offered in the Blazor framework and therefore will choose Blazor for new web projects. So let's look at some of the key features that Blazor offers that make it an attractive choice for web and hybrid application development, especially for .NET developers. But before that, if you like this video so far, please hit that like button. If you haven't yet subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel and please don't forget to ring the bell. Please share this video with anyone you feel may benefit from its content. If you'd like to thank me by buying me a coffee, you can do that through my Buy Me A Coffee webpage at this URL. It will of course be greatly appreciated. Please let me know in the comments section whether you think that Blazor has a future and please let me know why you feel that way. All comments are welcome. Your insights are always greatly appreciated. It would be great if you followed me on X. My username is at Gavin Digital. So here are some of the main advantages when choosing Blazor. Full stack development with C Sharp enables developers to write both client side and server side code using C Sharp and .NET, reducing the need for JavaScript. Promotes code sharing between front end and back end. If, for example, a company is fully invested in the .NET ecosystem and requires an enterprise web application, perhaps written using Web Forms or ASP.NET Core MVC, to be more responsive on the front end to improve the UX user experience, upgrading to Blazor is a great option because the developers can stay within the technologies with which they are familiar. The code on the front end and back end can remain within the .NET ecosystem, making the upgrade more efficient to develop. No new skills are required, for example, JavaScript skills. Easy in terms of maintenance, more reliable, no need to integrate potentially unreliable JavaScript dependency libraries. And you have the added benefit of paid support by Microsoft where needed. So this is where Blazor is hugely beneficial to organizations. Multiple hosting models. Blazor is quite mature at this point and offers a lot of flexibility and sophistication. Blazor offers several hosting models and features like Blazor Server, where your apps can benefit from fast load times with real-time interaction using Signal R. This is also great for security because your code can run on the server, so minimal client-side code running in the browser, as well as offer the super fast interactive spa functionality that JavaScript technologies like React and Angular offer. Blazor WebAssembly, WASM. So this hosting model comes with the advantage where the code runs entirely in the browser. Your C Sharp code can run entirely in the browser through the WebAssembly technology, enabling offline support. So you can create PWAs, progressive web apps using Blazor WebAssembly. Blazor Hybrid enables cross-platform desktop and mobile development using .NET MAUI. This means you can create native apps that run on Android, iOS, Mac, and Windows and share your C-sharp code across these disparate platforms. This means more efficient maintenance where, for example, a component is updated to address a new requirement. The change is made once 
and can propagate across multiple platforms. Blazor with SSR and streaming rendering introduced in .NET 8. Since the release of .NET 8, you can leverage SSR, server-side rendering, and stream rendering in order to improve performance for dynamic web apps. So it is clear that Microsoft is continuously investing in Blazor, meaning there is progressively less reason to venture outside of the .NET ecosystem for providing your web apps with high-performance interactive functionality, ultimately providing your users with an excellent UX user experience. Tight integration with .NET and ecosystem. Use .NET libraries, Entity Framework Core, and ASP.NET Core API seamlessly. So if you already have the relevant .NET skills within your organization, leveraging, for example, Blazor Server is going to be a very easy way to provide highly responsive interactive functionality on the front end that will seamlessly integrate with the sophistication provided on the back end through the .NET ecosystem. So you can easily leverage excellent features like built-in dependency injection and authentication via ASP.NET Identity and Azure Active Directory. If you, for example, chose to use React or Angular, you're introducing another layer of complexity where you'll need to depend on JavaScript libraries. You'll also potentially run JavaScript security-related functionality within the browser, which in terms of security is not ideal. I've also lately heard many developers in the React universe complaining about creators of certain JavaScript libraries not maintaining backward compatibility. This can lead to a multitude of headaches when maintaining your applications. So this is just another reason to leverage Blazor so that you can provide highly performant interactive front end functionality to your users while remaining within the .NET ecosystem. Less fuss and more reliable. No JavaScript required, but supports interop. Developers can build modern web applications without extensive JavaScript knowledge using Blazor. So a company with .NET skills won't need to employ extra contractors or full-time employees with the necessary JavaScript skills to provide front-end interactive SPA functionality. So you can stay within the .NET ecosystem and will still be able to provide the necessary interactive functionality for your web apps. Blazor also supports JS interop when necessary. So where necessary, you can still, for example, use JavaScript libraries like Chart.js or D3.js. Component-based architecture. Blazor encourages modular, reusable UI components similar to React or Angular. Supports Razor components, which can be used across Blazor Server, Blazor Wasm, and Blazor Hybrid. Performance optimizations. Ahead of time, AOT compilation for WebAssembly improves performance. Streaming rendering and lazy loading reduces load times. Pre-rendering improves SEO and perceived performance. Cross-platform support. Blazor Hybrid enables building desktop apps, Windows, Mac OS, Linux, using .NET MAUI. PWA, progressive web app. Support for offline ready applications. Strong tooling and productivity. First class support in Visual Studio and VS Code. Hot reload for rapid UI updates without recompilation. Now, I have heard a lot of complaints about hot reload, but I'm sure this will improve in the near future. You can leverage Blazor WebAssembly debugging inside the browser. Security and scalability. With Blazor, you can leverage ASP.NET Core security features like authentication, authorization, and anti-forgery protection. Blazor WebAssembly provides sandbox execution for added security. Growing ecosystem and Microsoft support. There's continuous investment from Microsoft, ensuring long-term stability. There is an increasing number of third-party UI libraries becoming available like Radzen, Telerik, and MudBlazor. Blazor is an excellent choice for .NET developers who want to build modern, full-stack web applications without relying heavily on JavaScript. Its flexibility, cross-platform support, and integration with .NET make it a strong alternative to traditional front-end frameworks. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you liked this video, please hit that like button. If you haven't yet subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel, and please don't forget to ring the bell. 
Please share this video with anyone you feel may benefit from its content. If you'd like to thank me by buying me a coffee, you can do that through my Buy Me A Coffee webpage at this URL. It will of course be greatly appreciated. Please let me know in the comments section whether you think that Blazor has a future and please let me know your reasons why you feel that way. All comments are of course welcome. Your insights are always greatly appreciated. It will be great if you followed me on X. My username is at GavinLonDigital. I hope to see you soon. Thank you and take care.